Now, we've, uh, we've all seen those prescription drug ads on TV where at the end of it, it says side effects may include, and then they list a long list of side effects. <laughs> well, it turns out that side effects aren't just for drugs. There's side effects for just about everything in life. Which brings us to our segment, Side Effects May Include. Side Effects May Include. Now, is there anyone here thinking of filling in for James Corden last minute? Hmm? Yeah, me too. Because if you're thinking of filling in for James Corden last minute, you should know there are side effects. And those side effects may include not having to buy James Corden a baby gift because this should count. <laughs> Calling everyone who works on the show chief because it, you're here for one day. You're not going to learn any names. Come on. Realizing that James Corden's parking spot is further away from the building than you thought it would be. <laughs> Looking at his bookshelf and seeing an unopened DVD copy of my movie Last Flag Flying that he told me he watched and he thought was a masterpiece. <laughs> And the final side effect of filling in for James Corden last minute is none of his suits fit. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. These are real side effects. Now, anyone here thinking about getting a cancer diagnosis, having no money, and realizing the only way to take care of your loved ones is by joining forces with a stoner and selling meth? <laughs> yeah. I've been there. I've been there, I know what you're thinking. Well, if you're thinking about getting a cancer diagnosis, having no money, and realizing the only way to take care of your loved ones is by joining forces with a stoner and selling meth, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include constantly having to answer to, yo, bitch! <laughs> that happens. Realizing you're surprisingly good at making meth. <laughs> Who knew? That your cancer is going in remission, but you still sell meth. <laughs> and the final side effect of getting a cancer diagnosis, having no money, and realizing the only way to take care of your loved ones is by joining forces with a stoner and selling meth is going through some serious Heisenbergs and Lozenbergs. <laughs> now, anyone here thinking about telling your friends to call you Crandemonium? <laughs> Let's see the hands. I know I'm not alone there. Now, if you're thinking about telling your friends to call you Crandemonium, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include taking a break from acting so you can devote some time to all the high fives you're getting. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Getting a table at the busiest restaurant in the city by calling the reservation desk and saying, Crandemonium, party of whatever the hell I feel like. <laughs> what? Having one of your friends call you Big Cranberry <laughs> and having him removed from your life completely. Uh, <laughs> listen, the email was very clear. It's crandemonium or nothing. <laughs> and the final side effect of telling your friends to call you crandemonium is going to prison because you got pulled over and when the police officer asked for your ID, you just showed them your crandemonium tattoo and said, suck on that, copper. <laughs> Side effects may include. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 